Well, well, guys, it worked. <laughs> oh my god! Man, it's loud. It is so loud. What's happening, guys? He's still hanging in there. We are pretty close to starting this uh, Jeep up. So let me turn this radio down here. So we've done some mock-up wiring. We've got uh, our battery in there. It's just sitting sideways. All right, once you get your uh, eight-speed wiring figured out there, don't forget about that, uh, that CAN bus wire right here. That guy. Make sure you plug that into your main harness. The battery in. I've got uh, all my wires in the right place. I still got to wrap them up, tighten them up with loom. Um, I've got my uh, air temp sensor mocked up here inside my cold air intake. Got uh, the fuel line on that we made right there. That's all connected. All that's just, you just push it on, it clicks. Um, and then you just run that around the back, down through there, and then uh, hook that up to your, your gas line. That's also just to click in. And then just keep it up out of the way so it's not touching any exhaust or anything. And then don't forget about your transmission plug. Um, I've already got mine in, but you just basically just push it in, grab that tab, and that tab has to rotate all the way down to the very bottom until it locks. That thing has to be fully seated. So we got the that big red wire there, got that through the back, and that's hooked up down to the starter. Um, don't forget about your grounds. Uh, grounds are a huge, huge problem with these things. Just not putting your, uh, your all your grounds in. So. Well, here, just take a screenshot of this. Those are all your cable connections. So yeah, I've got mine. The one, the stock one that came with the Jeep right here, um, I disconnected that, I'm gonna reuse it, but I've got it looped all the way around there, and that one's supposed to go to the block and the body. So that, that's already connected in here, right off this stud back there. Uh, where are you? Right there. So that's already connected to that stud from the factory. Um, I put on a bigger uh, strap here. This goes to the back of the head, just right down here, just to that bolt. Um, the ground strap from the main harness, I've got that down to the other head back there. Uh, don't forget about that ground there. That goes from your computer to your fire or your uh, sidewall there. Fender. Um, yeah, just don't forget your grounds. Be very thorough. Make some new lines if you have to. I've made quite a few new lines there. Um, that's still a mess, but uh, I'm going to clean that up. But I'm going to get ready for a test fire. I think I might do one uh, tonight. Maybe tomorrow. But, uh, if I do, you'll see it. We've got uh, our battery in there. It's just sitting sideways. Um, it's not tied down. It doesn't have a uh, uh, a clamp, whatever you call those things. Uh, it's just sitting there. I just wanted to get it ready for test fire. So I've got uh, my air temp plugged in there. Um, I've got an oil in the motor. She's topped up. I don't have any oil in the transmission yet. Um, I still have to put my grill in and, you know, my radiator is still sitting down there. Um, yeah, we're getting ready to test fire it. You're going to see the first reaction as I see it. It's going to be pretty insane. You know, if you like do this for two years while hoarding parts and what have you for planning for almost two years and then uh and then you just got that in there it's a lot of work in such a short period of time i think i'm like day nine but i'm only maybe five sometimes six hours a day 
I still got the family and stuff, so we still try and go out and do do fun stuff while I'm taking care of this well. So, got to have a life balance in there too, right? Um, but yeah, I think later tonight or tomorrow morning, um, I'm gonna fire this up, and uh, you're gonna get you guys are gonna be along for the ride. And I pulled out the um, the fuel pump because I don't want this thing getting fuel right now. I just want to prime the motor because it's been sitting for a few years. So I want to make sure that I can get some oil up into it before we uh, start her up. Oh, so let's turn the key for the first time and uh, see what that looks like. are still the same. I was hoping they'd be zero, but... Okay, well that was successful. It didn't start, which I wanted wanted to prime it so I'm gonna wait I don't know five more seconds or so and then uh, go again Let's throw that fuse back in here. Let's see if uh, I remember where to put it. Oh yeah, right here. And that was the one right there, that 20, right beside the big fuse block. Okay, well, this is going to be the uh, the big fire up here, so I'm going to uh, go get my wife, and we got the fire extinguisher ready, just in case, I'll be right back. Well, we're going to give her the first test fire, if it clicks, no bueno, if it starts, I don't know, it's got, I got a diaper on, just in case. <laughs> It's going to be loud if it starts. Are you ready? Yep. Ready? I think so. I'm not. I'm not either. Just do it. All right. <laughs> oh my god, I just shit myself. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> one more quick one. Oh. Wow. Was that loud or what? Holy boys, I gotta change my drawers. Wow, well guys, it worked. Uh, first try, at first there I was a little disheartened. Uh, I guess it just took some time for that fuel to get up to the uh, fuel rail. And man, when it fired, my heart stopped. You could see the look in my face of pure fear, like, oh my goodness. Um, but wow, that, yeah, that was the very first start. You guys got to see my reaction on that one and uh, it was pretty genuine. Um, Man, it's loud. It is so loud. Open headers, no exhaust. Holy. 
Wow. Now we just got to do some fine tuning, uh, get that radiator, rad support and stuff in there. I'm still waiting on a couple parts for uh, my transmission cooling. Um, I'm going to run my own lines. So I'll show you guys all that as well. And uh, yeah, hit that notification button so you can see this thing wrapped up. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you guys later.